Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'll, I'll demonstrate uh, the capability around uh, uh, micro partition and clustering. And also I will convey uh, that, you know, how do you ensure that you run efficient queries within Snowflake and how clustering holds a very important aspect in terms of performance tuning, right? Now I am I am into my Snowsite console, so let me change it into dark mode. I really want to kind of uh, do the recording via the dark mode over here. So let me change it to dark mode. Okay. Now for this demonstration, uh, let me create a table. Okay. Right. And if you see this, I am clustering it by group ID. Right. Let me execute it. You see. This session do not have a current database, call use database or use qualifier name. So what should I do? I have to first set the context. Otherwise, I will not be able to execute the query. Okay. So this is my database. This is my schema. So now this query should run fine. Okay. All right. Cool. Right. So we saw this particular table got successfully compiled. Okay. Right. Now what we will do is we will try to insert some data into the same table huh? demo cluster 05. Okay. Now look at this insert. Okay. I am going to insert around 250 K worth records, which is nothing but kind of test data. Okay. Cool. My records got inserted into this table, right? Now let me do one thing. What I will do is exactly same thing I will do. But I am going to maybe create another table, okay, right? So look alike table, but it will be another table. So this is that table, okay? But the table name is different. Only, uh, sorry, only the table name is different. Rest all is remaining as is. Huh? The number of columns, uh, the data types, okay? Everything is remaining the same, okay? And over here also, I am clustering it by group by, okay? Right? So let me you know kind of compile this table this table got compiled and what i will do is i am going to insert same 250k records huh? like to like comparison we will do right okay right so let's do this okay so it will you know kind of hopefully it will get executed see it got executed right so now interesting thing is how do i uh, now i'll be executing the query okay so this Demo cluster 05 we have created. Demo cluster sort 06 we have created. Let us execute this query. Okay. Select star query. Okay. Let me change the table name. Bear with me, please. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. So, what is this? So, we have got this query executed in 457 milliseconds okay right now what i will do is i will have to see the query statistics okay right let's see the query profile meaning huh? cool so right i have opened the query profile of this particular query okay next what i will do is i will execute this query okay demo cluster sort 06 group ID is equal to 1. Okay. Right. Cool. This query got executed little bit faster, I would say, in 408 milliseconds. Let me open this query ID also uh, along with the query profile. Okay. Now, this, this query profile is the query profile of your uh, this table, which is demo cluster sort 06. Okay. And the other one is nothing but the, uh, you know, the table is demo cluster 05. Okay. Now, what interesting thing which you see is the demo sort table. When I go and see the query profile, see this value partition scanned, partition total. That means your total micro partitions was three, but the micro partition scanned was just one. And that is why if you see this query got executed in 248 millisecond. Whereas the other table, which is demo cluster 05, let us see the partition scanned and partition total. Okay, right. 
so this is like 3 3 so it is kind of doing a full table scan and it got executed in 279 milliseconds and it was in 248 milliseconds so this is faster and it is properly doing the partition elimination also it is not doing a full table scan and the pattern of the query run on both the tables is same select star where group id is equal to 1 select star where group id is equal to 1 and the total number of records was also the same but why it so happened that this particular table when we ran a query it executed faster the reason is simple on this table we have defined a clustering key and while inserting the data into this one we have grouped by the same clustering key okay sorry not grouped ordered ordered there was a you know method used while we inserted the data and it was nothing but ordered ingestion okay so we have kind of ensured that during the insert your data is ordered by group id and then it got inserted and in the first case against which the query ran little bit slower if you see this this order by clause is missing okay now what does this signify this signifies that yes clustering is very important concept within snowflake when you define it well and good but when you start inserting the records into the table where clustering keys will be defined it is a best practice to do the ingestion in a sorted way in that way your you know all your data which will eventually be stored in your micro partitions will be very well you know kind of arranged and organized and it helps in efficient query pruning okay so thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful